Someone has delivered this to our door. What could this be? It's a uh, freezer type of uh, delivery. Okay, let's open this up. Kanaya, we got a delivery. Yeah, look at this. It's food. Two boxes? Two boxes of goodness. What? What is in here? Oh, okay. Oh, I remember. This is from uh, from the coach store, Mar Margoto Kochi, which is uh, in Ginza. Yes! Wow. All right. This, gosh, we ordered this uh, a couple days ago. This is um, Kochi Prefecture. I'm going to show you where that is on the map. But they sent us tataki. Yes! Yay. I've been craving this stuff. This is kind of a, a seared, traditionally seared, uh, smoked fish. Katsuo. Uh, yeah, katsuo or uh, skipjack tuna. And uh, I love this stuff. This is going to be really exciting. So we're going we're gonna to cut this up and eat this. Have you ever, oh, you've had this tataki yes, before? Yes, I have. I have. Oh, good. All right. Yeah. But I believe, yes, they gave oh. us the entire assortment of ice creams. Oh, I love ice the coach creams. store, including yuzu. I love yuzu. Wow. Yeah. That ice should be really good to try. This is nuts. It's baked nuts flavor. This is baked eggplant ice cream. Mm -hmm. What? I didn't know ice cream, uh, eggplant could be, um, aubergine could oh, be a I'm just curious. ice cream flavor. I'm very curious it's too. It's seaweed. Seaweed ice cream. What? It's People are, David writes in gross. <laughs> well, guess what? Seaweed ice cream from the deep seaweed. sea water is a thing, okay? We're going to try this. Seaweed ice cream. Yeah. Wow. All right, cool. So how do we eat this? They didn't give directions, did they? Yeah, I put a link in the description. You, you can join me at uh, Hirome Market in Kochi and you can see how they actually make this tataki. Yeah, there it is right there. That's how they sear this mama, look. But it's already seared. Yeah, this is a skipjack tuna. I guess you just cut it, Kanai, like this. Yeah. That's easy. Hey, Tony's here. All right, do you want to cut it? Yeah. All right, well, you cut it. I'm going to show people where Kochi is. You want to see where Kochi is? You see that picture right there? That's me in front of Marugoto Kochi. I faked the whole thing. I actually wasn't delivered to a door like that. I kind of just replayed the way it was. Uh, Mar Marugoto Kochi is in Ginza. And what I love about this is that you can go to Kochi and not have to go to Kochi. So we just ordered food from the other side of Japan from Tokyo, which is actually really cool. And they have a, a statue of Ryoma uh, out in front of the store. And when they said that they could deliver tataki, I was like, what? We've had some pretty amazing delivery foods. This one is going to be some of the most amazing. I might have, I might have actually, I would call it clickbait. I would, I would, I would uh, like to point out though that I go to this store often. And if you're a Patreon supporter, I might have sent you stuff from this store because I kind of like it. Kochi is a really natural place in Shikoku Island. And I love the sake and the, wow. yeah, That's ginger big. and yuzu kosho. Do we have the yuzu kosho? Whoa, that is a beautiful cut of fish. Look at this. Ooh, smoky I think, smell. I think some people, yeah, it has a smoky smell. I believe some people have um, uh, have heard of katsuo bushi or mm. fish flakes that they put on takoyaki. That's what this fish is from. But, oh, they, that's evil, Kanai. <laughs> that's evil. You want to try? You should. You want to cut? No, you can go and cut it. I try. I give it a All right, can you flip it around? Let's see what the other side looks yeah. like first. Oh, look at that! And that's that darkness is from the smoke mm. from the from the uh, special material yeah. that they use for for uh, cooking it in. All right. Guys, going in for the cut. Look at that! It's got that deep red. Yes, they did such a great job of preserving mm. it. Oh man. That's too big. Okay, you're right there, right there, yeah. Oh, wow. This is such a treat. And you can see, do you see that deep red color of it? 
That's the bonito. And they've seared it, meaning it, it's been cooked at an extremely high heat using a grass mm. that gives it an amazing flavor to it. It's always best to have it when it's served. It's still hot on the outside and cold on the inside. And I don't know how that they cook this and do that, but they're so good at it in Kochi. In fact, well, Kanai cuts this bonito skipjack tuna that's been seared. Wow. It's called tataki, everybody. T-A-T-A-K-I, and it's a speciality of Kochi. Oh, it's so good. So is, so is ginger, by the way. And we got this from the Marugoto store, ginger. And uh, my favorite, Boshi Pan. That's hat bread, baby. And it was on sale. <laughs> because it's like gonna expire today. So I gotta eat it. All right, I'm gonna go in here and show you about Kochi. Come into my office. Do you see that right there? That is a map of Japan. We are going to zoom down into Kochi. Kochi is in Shikoku Island which, let me zoom out here. Shikoku Island looks like a mini Australia, doesn't it? So Australians should be naturally drawn to Kochi, but many don't make it there. And the waves are really good for surfing, I heard. It's just a rumor. Um, there are a lot of surfers that I met there. Kochi City is right here on the coast. This is the mighty Pacific Ocean, and you can see all around the city completely surrounded by wilderness. This is sort of an oasis of a city. It's kind of really shut off from the rest of the country. There's no Shinkansen train lines going into Kochi. Uh, up in the top here, you have um, uh, Tokushima, you have uh, Kagawa Prefecture, and then you have Ehime, which a lot of citrus fruit is grown in Ehime. And then you have Kochi in this area here. And uh, I spent a lot of time in the city. Hirome Market is maybe one of the most fun places to eat. There's Kochi Castle up there on the left side. Hirome Market is right here, all right? It's right off of the main street where, I, where there's an amazing Sunday market. And uh, I made a video there at Hirome Market last year on May 26th. Almost a year ago, I was here. And uh, this is one of the most famous shops inside. This is what it looks like. I put in too many ads in my videos. Now I know what you guys are talking about. Skip. Um, this is where... They usually have fire blasting right out of the center here. That's right. Just a seafood, lots of, uh, oh, it's 12 o'clock. Lunchtime. Just like it is here. Actually, it is like 12. So we're going to wait here for a second until they get the it's fire. 12. But, uh, I just wanted to show you. Okay, get to the it's fire. So get to the bloody fire. Bloody red, but it's not, I don't know if it's blood. It's not All right, they're putting it onto the sticks. That's how they do it, it right there. It like blood. It's a little red inside. Look at that, tataki. That's big chunks. Thanks, oh, here it is. And then they do it by fire. And you see in here, they put some kind of um, grass in there. And when they sear it, there he's putting in the grass in there. It gives it this amazing flavor from that. Here's the bonito, and that's what everyone's waiting in line for. Look at that. This is the Kochi way to do it. Pretty amazing, right? Hey, there's UFO Bob from last year. Whenever you get fire, you know it's going to be a really <laughs> live stream. It's pretty hardcore. Thanks, I can't actually see. All right. The, uh, so now you know that's what we're eating for lunch today. Yes. I'm so excited because I can't really travel to other prefectures. We're still trapped here in Tokyo, kind of. We can go around to Chiba and some other areas maybe, but just in this locality. But starting this weekend, apparently, or starting yesterday, we could travel all over the country. And I'm getting set to go to Kanazawa next week. And Kanai has made this. Look at this. Oh, this is too good. We're going to be eating seaweed ice cream as a dessert. So you're not going to want to miss that. Kanai, I also got you. Did you check Frosty? Nani. Did you check Frosty? Because Frosty. I got I got Kanai a ginger oh, drink. Wow. <laughs> Do you see it? Use a cider. Oh, use it, use it, okay. Use oh, you drank the drink, ginger drink. No, I didn't. No, I bought you a sugar drink, like uh, Nishu Kamai. Oh, what did it? Oh, yeah, I drink. Oh, you drank my ginger <laughs> drink from before. Also, I want to introduce you to the number one condiment in Japan. There is no condiment better. Condiments, for those that 
I don't understand what I'm saying is like ketchup, mustard. And let me introduce you to yuzu kosho. Yuzu kosho is a salty citrus condiment that they use for like udon and other soups. It is so good. You could put it on meat. You could put this thing on anything. You could just, just eat it as it, no, you shouldn't eat it as it is. It's quite salty, but it's citrus salt. And it's, it's usually from Shikoku, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love yuzu kosho. It's too good. Oh, seriously, I'm, I have not been this excited since yesterday. Oh. Eugene Hulbert's here. Number one fan. I love Pearman. Misty Raid's in here. Tell Kanai I love her outfit. She looks super oh, cute. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Misty. Sorry, a little creepy there. Jeff Ang writes in here. Hi, John Kanai. Here's a little something for food delivery fun. Thank you, Jeff. We're going to be doing maybe one or two more of these before we're just going to stop food delivery because we're going to be traveling. Uh, Michi B, good job. Thank you. I love those animated emojis. Speak Hot 84. Uh, our, are you going to get a haircut? Look, the, the reason why I'm wearing a hat indoors is because I look like the mad scientist from... Actually, it's, he's not the mad scientist from Back to the Future. Or, as someone said, Einstein. It's, Einstein was not known for his good looks. Was he? Uh, Raymond Centeno, after Kanai cuts the tataki, perhaps she can cut your hair. Raymond! Yeah. Bradshaw Studio is <laughs> here. Vic Vic, how you doing? Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Brad Fletcher and Bradshaw Studio looking really cool. Photolook Hawaii is here. Hey, John Kanai. How you doing, Austin? Shout out to Austin. Aloha. And Tony P. Coolness achieved. All right. This is our usual place where we eat. This, by the way, is a, um, what do you call this? A gas lift table that I bought off of Amazon. And I can with that lever, get it down all the way to the floor and I can put it underneath the sofa. How cool is that? It's a pretty thick table too. It's not real wood. In Japan, that's hard to get, but it is a pretty good table. Oh, we got all this stuff. Oh, can I eat my boshi pan first? Eat my boshi pan first. That could be you if you go to coach. It's kind of cool. Look at it. He's flying because he has a UFO hat. Or did the aliens put this on his head, which made him fly to the UFO, and the graphic designer made this propaganda with a smile? Could be. Could be. I think we have actually an animated emoji on the Discord server where I'm wearing hat bread in Kochi. It's pretty crazy. <sighs> Can I did a good job preparing this. All right, let's take one more look at this before we completely devour it. And I'm going to show you some snacks from the other side of Japan. Oh my gosh. That's a new emoji for members there. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? How is the animated intro coming along? It's, it's just about done. It is done. We're going to keep retouching it, but I'll, I'll be releasing it momentarily. It's very, very soon. It looks great. Look at that. Seared bonito. We're going to have this for lunch. You didn't think we were going to have this for lunch, did you? No, she didn't know. <laughs> Did not know. All right, let's do this. Get in position. <laughs> All right, itadakimasu. We can use this. Oh, right. Can so, show you? Yeah, so typically, uh, tataki will come with uh, ginger and a little bit of uh, garlic. garlic and leeks. It's really good um, complement with the seared the kind of smokiness to it. Hey, Frank the Tank! Very yummy. You can have probably show you, maybe put show you in one and then this in the other. Let's try the two kinds. While that's happening, I bought this here to wash it down with. Mr. Das, this is for you, buddy, for all of the super chats to get Asahi. I didn't get Asahi. This is local beer from Tosa. One of the regions of, of Kochi that everybody knows about in Kochi, and we, none of us do, is called Tosa. Tosa is a very famous place along the coast, I believe, and they make salt. They make lots of really amazing things from the Pacific. And guess what? I guess they make beer. This is the Kochi Kampagne Brewery. Or is that Champagne? I don't know. Kampagne? Looks really good. Cider. And you have the cider. All right, show everybody your cider while I go get a bottle opener. 
<laughs> what is yuzu, Kanai? Ah, uh, yuzu is a stress fruit, like lemon and oranges. Then it smells so nice. Really? Yes. It's stress fruit. Yeah. Oh. Somebody once said, I think I can show the somebody said in, in the live stream in Yokohama, John, don't act. Oh. Yeah. That, that made me feel bad. I'm not really acting. That's, this is what I normally do. This is what I normally do. Um, okay, let's give this a try here. Yeah. I don't want to give people in suspense. Kampai. Okay. I, I can show you. Of Hi. course, she doesn't drink it from the can. She's a classy woman. She drinks it. <laughs> Dude, from I the... can show the color then. Oh, that's true. Wait, oh, oh. yeah, you're right, can I? <laughs> you can show. So this is the color. <laughs> that's true. If you should put it in a yeah. glass, you can show the color. <laughs> you bring it to? Yeah, because you're right. That's a really good color. It's really good color. All right, come by. This is yuzu beer, by the way. Mm -hmm. oh, Sophisticated. Mm. That's so good. Check this out. It's yuzu pale ale. Yuzu is, a, as can I said, a citrus fruit from. Um, Kochi. It's made. It's made into. It's kind of really citrusy. It's one of the most citrusy fruits that I've ever had. You wanna try? Miguel Amaral, dude, you will get a haircut tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> Somebody, they really want me to get a haircut. Miguel, you got it. I'll do. I will do it tomorrow. All right. Does that does that work for you, Miguel? Let's. It's a promise. I'll do it either tonight or tomorrow. Okay. It's a promise. It's sweet. It's good. Mm. It's very good. All right, now to the tataki. Tataki. But I get pressure. Thanks, Miguel. Look, can Miguel's add added some pressure onto this haircut? Losing losing six months of hair. It's very very nervous. It's a. I, I was kind of growing on me. Literally, it's, it was. <laughs> you gonna miss your hair? I will. Should we eat the shoga? I forget. I just dip it in here. Yeah. I just dip it in here. I go with just some soy sauce here. Um, the tataki is a beautiful color. Look at that, translucent through the sunlight. Good. <laughs> That's so good. You know why? Because of that seared taste of it. It's so good because of the outside. The mm. right? Do you see? It's been the the um, the grass that they use, the dry grass that they use to make the fire, really just penetrates the outside of it. Now, when this is served fresh, it's still hot on the outside and it's cold on the inside. And it's the perfect complement to beer, which is why it's, it really is a massive drinking food. Let's dip this piece into the yuzu sauce. It glistens. That's right. Put a little bit of ginger on there. Let's get this onion here. Let's get this onion here some life. Down the hatch. Oh, this is tataki. Yuzu kosho with this. I think the yuzu kosho. It's yuzu, not it's Yeah. Yuzu kosho would probably take away too much of the flavor of the tataki. You would taste mostly the yuzu kosho. Yuzu kosho is a great condiment for soups, um, for meats as well. You can use nabe. it for that nabe. Oh, mama. This is so good in summer. That is so good. Uh, skipjack tuna is a very meaty fish. It's a very meaty fish and... It's very red on the inside. Like katsuobushi, as I said, it's petrified fish. 
This is the hardest food in the world. It comes from this fish. And they petrify it and they make fish flakes from it that you'll see on takoyaki, on okonomiyaki, and other foods. This is what this is. Do. Mm, it's good. Yeah? You think we should give the rest to your dad? Yeah, we have to bring it tonight. Tonight? <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any left. All right, we'll try to eat. We'll try to save some for Kanai's dad. That's only fair. Yeah. The beer, though, uh, Mr. Alki will be gone. <laughs> ah, this is a lunch made in heaven because not mm -hmm. often do you get to eat Kochi food. We can't travel to Kochi. We can start to travel from yesterday to Shokinokara. Hey, I have never been in Kochi. What? <laughs> Dear Prefecture never. of Kochi, dear wonderful governor, <laughs> she has never been to Kochi. Yes, next time I should go. That is a travesty. I have never been in Shikoku. That is, that's just Shikoku, weird. Yeah. This is your country. Yes, but I haven't been there. Wow. No, Kochi has been in your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> That wasn't funny. All right. Yeah, we got some other snacks here. Kana, mm -hmm. do you want to eat this, Kochi? We got to keep this moving along. You know, we can, yeah. The yuzu beer is really, really good. It's got just a, a light, light um, citrus taste to it that complements the beer pretty good. And if it, even if it was bad, I probably would not admit it. Let's just put it like that. But it's not. It's good. I, I'm a bottle guy. Who's a bottle guy? Is there any guys that I prefer to drink from the bottle, even if it's craft beer? I don't care. I just there's something fun about holding a bottle and then drinking from the bottle. It's really good beer. I know that the water down in Coach is good, very natural, very clean. Um, but the citrus fruit, I don't think everybody's gonna like it, but it adds citrus. This citrus food is a pretty strong citrus. It's pretty. It's bitter. What, I, what I'm saying is, so it does complement the bitterness pretty well, because I don't like fruity beers. Uh, this isn't like that. It's not fruity. It's, it, this is good for summer, I think. I like the fact that it's not sweet. My dad is. Yes, I'm not a dad, but if I were a dad, I'd be drinking from the bottle. Just like babies. That's what dads have in, have in common with babies. They drink from the bottle. All right, so we're going to try... We're gonna try eggplant ice cream. Mm. I said eggplant ice cream. I really did. Egg baked baked, baked eggplant. eggplant. Oh my word! All right, we're gonna try this. Um, seaweed ice cream. Mm. What's this blue one here? It's milk. Ice milk. Ice milk. All right, we'll give that a try, and then yuzu. Okay, the rest of this is going in the freezer. I don't think we need to try strawberry. All right, we'll try strawberry. <laughs> All right, Frosty. We have a lot of ice cream. Give give Frosty the ice cream because it's gonna melt. By the way, we did get a small piece from Kochi for backup. Thank you, Kochi. That's awesome. I'm so happy that we got this. We are loving the refrigerator. If you want to see it, you see this refrigerator being installed. There's a live stream for that. Good job, Frosty. Wow. Yeah, the ice cream won't make it past today. I also bought this to try. This is uh, Kanzashi, which is a, a hairpin. It's a, it's a folklore story from Shikoku. You can get this at the Shikoku store. Uh, this is the kind of ginger that accompanies with sushi, but this one has a little bit of a yuzu taste in it. This is a dollar. This is stuff I bought yesterday. These crackers called Mire, I don't know the history of them or who that lady is. She looks kind of creepy in a good way. I, we could be friends. Look at her hair. She's got cookie hair pins or something. I'm digging this. This is very famous from Kochi, right? Mire, yes, Mire. And I got potato chips with yuzu flavor in them from Kochi. Yuzu kosho. Yuzu kosho. What? So it's got yuzu kosho in the chips? Oh, we're so trying this. We gotta try this before the ice cream, can I? I can't let this pass. This is a perfect complement with the beer. 
Ice cream right? Later, right? Ice cream now, later. Now? Well, yeah, because... With chips? Well, yeah. Do we want to use oh, the yeah. plastic <laughs> spoons or recycle them and use the metal uh, spoons? Okay. All right. Inside tip for everybody here. All right. In America, we open the bags of chips like this, right? But the thing is, the bags of chips are so small in Japan, pretty much everybody will eat these chips in one day. And at picnics, we open them Sorry. like this. That's how we open them in Japan. It's true, right? You open it like this, and now you have a bigger hole to pick from. It's pretty cool, right? I didn't know that until I went to some picnics here. This looks like an ordinary potato chip. But does it taste like an ordinary potato chip? Good. Yeah, this has yuzu kosho. It's really good. Mm. That's, I'll buy that for a dollar. It's good. Yeah. On the picture in the back, it's got the natural world on there. The thing about coach is that it's such a, it's such, it's like a camping. You need a car to get around there. It's like a camping wilderness paradise hiking place. The Shimanta River, which snakes down, it's the last undammed river, I believe, in Japan. Fresh water. It, it, it comes from the mountains in the, in the middle of Shikuku Island. That along there, amazing restaurants, little gourmet places that you'll discover driving a car down there. Restaurants that are in no guidebooks. This is the kind of trip, if you just want to get away from life and spend a week, you go to Kochi. This is like the Alaska, well, that would be Hokkaido. But it's, it's sort of like, like in Alaska, like a really far getaway place. It's just so amazing. Mm. I think that would be a great place for families mm. to live. Not in Tokyo, but out in Kochi. All right, let's do this ice cream because it's gonna melt. Wow. What's first? The internet must decide. Yeah. We have five flavors. Five flavors. Uh, can I, which one? Okay. Do you ever play like when you're playing touch football or tackle? Um, you pick a team and you have to, you have to draft the flavor, the draft, <laughs> the people that you think are the best. I always got picked uh, like, uh, yeah, I always got picked like already. last. And I was pleasantly Somebody fast. So the people who picked me last, Saw me as a commodity and I didn't get picked last that much after that. Although it was easy to tackle. I went down real fast. You just touched me, I go down. Which one do you want first? You're dr we're drafting a team now. Which one do you want first? Dozo. Oh, wait, wait, no. Junkin Pong. Junkin Pong? Yeah. Junkin Pong. Yes, I win. But you can't go first because. There's, <laughs> there's like a thousand people watching, and I'll be a. Uh, I'll look bad if I, if I go. Seaweed. First. Oh, I wanted the seaweed. Okay, I'm going eggplant. <laughs> we can right. share. No! What's next? Um. Yeah. I try milk. Milk? It's so boring. Use it. No, it's not boring. Of course, we're going to share, but it's more fun if you. Divide the assets amongst yourselves. All right, can I go with, let's start off with the seaweed ice cream oh. from Kochi. This is a speciality. Aonori is, is, it means blue seaweed, but actually seaweed is not blue, mm. but it kind of is. They use Aomori, Aomori, Kochi. Yeah. Seaweed from Kochi. All right. What? Wow. What? I'm gonna go get an idea. Look at that. What is that? Seaweed. That's seaweed inside of it. I thought it was gonna be all green, like green, like matcha tea. Mm -hmm. They put sp speckles of, of seaweed in there. This is awesome. All right, do it. Do it, Kanai. Well, it's kind of new. Do it. <laughs> do it. Chuck on that. This is awesome. Wow. Oh, this is so good. Reaction. 
Seaweed. 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 I think ice cream should be so. Oh, this is so soft. This is really made from good milk. After two seconds, you feel seaweed. After you feel the seaweed? Yeah. WRX Turbo. This is brought to you by WXR Turbo. Hold on a second. Coffee later, yes. I'm, I actually have a pot <laughs> ready to wash this all down. <laughs> Three, two, two one, seaweed. Seaweed. One, two. <laughs> it's funny, it works. The, the cream, first of all, it's very good cream. It's very good ice cream. All right, it's mm -hmm. very good ice cream. Uh, high quality cream. All right, do you, okay, okay. This is the best way to put it. We all know what seaweed tastes like and you can't imagine maybe putting this into cream. I think when it's, when it's, when it's cut up like this and put in there as like a furikake, just kind of in there, it works well because it's very balanced. It's not too much of the seaweed. If you were to put chunks in there, like chunky monkey or something, it'd be too much seaweed. Mm. This, it balances with the sweetness of the cream and a little bit of saltiness. Do you remember those Snyder's chocolate pretzels? All right. There's no chocolate in here, but it's kind of the same principle. There's a little bit of saltiness with the sweetness and the two kind of mix really good. I say kind of because I don't think everybody's going to be like it. There'll be some Americans that are like, ew, gross. Ew, I can't believe you did something strange and weird. No, I want my chocolate ice cream, ch chunky monkey. Ew. But then there's Kanai and she's not American, so that's okay. I say that because I'm American. That's what I would say. Mm. If I first got here to America, to Japan, I'm like, seaweed ice cream? No, thank you. But it's good. It is really surprisingly yeah. good. Next up. The hit parade continues. Isako writes, grow up. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to the people that are crying? Because no. I'm not crying. I got baked baked eggplant ice cream. And I'm so curious to see what is inside here. So join me for a second as I open this up to, with you here. This is pretty cool. Can you eat this with chopsticks? This is weird. What's inside? Oh. All right. I'm going to I'm going to start with this little Wow, I don't even see the I don't even see the eggplant. Is it deep in there? I wonder. I'm going to go deep after this initial Whoa, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I'm going deep, just let's see if there's any chunks in there. There's no chunks. All right, go ahead. You, can I, you gotta try this. This is weird. <laughs> okay. This is so weird, it works. All right, I, I, I have really good friends wow. in Romania and I've been to Romania several times. Mm -hmm. um, there is this dip that they make out of, they take the eggplant and then they put it on the gas mm -hmm. stove and they burn the outside of the eggplant, right? Until it, it's all burnt. Then they peel off the burnt part and that burnt taste penetrates into the eggplant. They found a way to put that burnt taste into the ice cream. I taste a little bit of the eggplant, but I'm tasting mostly the burnt taste, right? <laughs> yes. The burnt taste, and there's a sweetness to that burnt taste in the eggplant because eggplants have this sort of natural sweetness to it. Not if you put it in a sauce, but just as it is. So that natural sweetness of the eggplant with the burnt taste in the sweet cream, it works. Like a baba ganoush, something like this. But it's not baba ganoush because there's no spice. It's just a smoked eggplant ice cream. Yeah. It is really an interesting, yeah. I've never had anything like it, and yet I'm drawn to it. Mm, eggplant. 
It's a sweet eggplant, and it's very pleasant. Um, they wrote it on... You can tell when you read the ingredients here, it says it uses Hokkaido milk. Uh, Hokkaido, is that Hokkaido? Mm -hmm, Hokkaido. That's not good, it's kochi. They should be using coach milk. <laughs> you know, we're not gonna hold that against them. So it's Hokkaido milk, because Hokkaido does have good milk. Yeah, Eggplant is one of the ingredients. Cream, egg, sugar. sugar. There's no chemicals. Uh, Toreharosu. I don't know what that is. And it comes from a small company in Coach Prefecture. We love supporting mm -hmm. small companies on this channel, so this was totally worth it. I want to see how they make. I know. How yes. They make the yes. Ice cream. I want to go down this. Okay, I'm going to see if I can go down this ice cream factory. Yeah. Coach inbound. Next up, Kanai. Yuzu. Yuzu. That's mine. You picked. No, no, you know, we're going full milk because you picked that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I said that with love. Seriously. It's milk. How much sugar are you having? Let's just say we're yeah. not done yet. We're just having one or two bites of each, which equal one entire carton. So don't worry about our sugar intake. Mm. It's just milk. No. Is this Hokkaido milk? milk? I know, but if it's Hokkaido milk, then it's Hokkaido ice cream. It's not Hokkaido milk, maybe. What did they write? Just milk. So maybe Just milk. Kochi milk. Maybe. Mm. That's so good. Yeah. This is, look. Fresh. <clears throat> a lot of the Americans are writing in, like, isn't it vanilla? It's not vanilla. No. Actually, I don't know why... They, I don't know why everyone thinks that you can't have just milk ice cream, just cream. Back in the olden days, if you're like in your 70s or 60s, maybe, or older, you probably remember when the milkman delivered bottled milk, all right? Mm -hmm. I kind of remember that a little bit when I was a kid back in the, in like the late 70s. I was like four, but I still remember like some people getting milk deliveries. And they would come almost frozen, and the top half of the milk was cream. And kids would just dunk in their spoons and eat that cream. It was just milk cream, but it was so good and rich. There's a little bit of sugar in here. Milk is good. You don't need to put vanilla beans in it. And I guess they put the vanilla beans in it to mask the fact that it's bad cream. If it's good cream, UFO Bob goes, I remember. UFO Bob, you're not that old, are you? No. John Wakamatsu, uh, I like smoked fish, but eat very little ice cream. I know. Yuzu. So this is good. I liked I liked this one. Yeah. I I knew when I opened it up it would be hard to see any yuzu. The seaweed had the most impact this to is it. Sherbet. Oh sorbet. Yeah. You call it sherbet? We I call say it sherbet. Sabet. Sherbet? Yeah, sabet. Hold on, I gotta push the camera. Huh? Sorbet. Yuzu. It's citrus. Oh. Soft. Soft. Elegant. Mm. Nice? Mm. It's good. Yuzu, um, once again, it's in the beer. Mm. It's in a lot of things that you'll find in Kochi. Yuzu pale ale. Yuzu flavored ginger. Yuzu sauce. It's, it's in a lot of products, and it's it's something that people in Kochi are very proud of. Last but not least, least Ichigo. Go ahead and start that there. Ichigo is strawberry in Japanese. Oh, Ichigo. look at this beautiful color. Oh, yeah, that does look different than, than normal strawberry. It's so beautiful. How is it? Mm. I shouldn't put mm. that on the sofa. Get in trouble. This, mm. ladies and gentlemen, was it good? <laughs> it's good. You better try. Okay, wait. Hold on. Is that sorbet? Yep. Wow, that's fresh strawberry. Can you put this in the freezer, baby? Yeah. Like a retoko. I'm gonna have a moment, moment with the people. Ooh. Well, Kanai puts this in the freezer because we don't want to. We don't want it to melt, nor do we want to waste one second of this. 
This, ladies and gentlemen, that I hold in my hands is called Boshipan. A, not a UFO, who wrote that? Moderators, Anthony's on your, put him on the list. I'm just kidding, Anthony, I wouldn't do something like that. Or would I? This is what we call a Boshipan, and Boshipan is hat bread. Hat bread is, um, well, what is on the outside of it is custard, all right? It, they, they, they take the bread and they put it on custard. You can see on the other side of it, and it does look like a hat. See? Doesn't it look like a hat? It's like a derby hat. Hello? <laughs> Hello? What are you laughing at, darling? Can we go out? Let's go out to the to some social functions. Let's go to some social functions, can I, together? It's pit on you because you have a small... I have a small head. Can you grab my cane? Sure. Not my beer, I said my cane. You, she doesn't know what a cane is. All right. What? <laughs> All right, there's no hair on it. <laughs> Don't worry, we're just having some fun. But it does look like a derby hat. It does look like a derby hat. All right, here we go. Inside, is it? Yeah, it's not, it's not good. It's just bread. But some of them, I, some of them, here you go. Some of them do have, I know, I. Look, we're married. You can eat it, even though it's been on my head. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm okay. No, kids will eat this by, kids will eat this by um, chewing around the edges of it, and it, it can taste almost like a cookie. Hmm. Hmm. A shampoo, daily. It's a lot of shampoo, a lot of hair. Mm. The bread is the bread is bread. It's not a metal palm, but they have some with custard inside of it, like there's cream or ampan. I've seen that before. But I like the custard around it. I don't know. Mmm, me too. No. Yeah. It's good. No. Yeah. All right, for those of you going, ooh, gross, it was on your head, it's hair, grow up, all right? <laughs> How old are you? Probably older than me. Saying. It's okay, just a few seconds. Yeah, a few seconds. Actually, it was like 30 seconds. I wore that like a hat. Uh, for our, our Daimyo supporters, you probably have seen this before. Um, mm. This is one of my favorite confection favorite confections from Kochi. It comes wrapped like this. It lasts for about two weeks. It's hard. It's a hard item to sell to people, uh, to send to people abroad. But we were able to do that. It's uh, like a, a cake, and on it is a hairpin, mm. and it tells a traditional story of Kochi about a lady with a hairpin. I can't. Mm. I can't remember the story. I was actually there and did a live stream about this. I'll give Kanai half. Which you can take the big half. Why? I'm on a diet. Inside of it is a very um, soft uh, mm. cream, custard. Mm. Brendan, I'm not, this isn't a hat bread, Brendan. Brendan wants me to put everything on my head. Hey, Bre Bre oh, Brendan, you happy now, Brendan? <laughs> Look, I put the beer on my head. Some people in the chat are messed up. Mm. It's very soft. Yeah. <gasps> Stop it. It's. Oh, Brendan, look here. Are you happy, Brendan? Look, I did it. <laughs> Some people are really strange out there in the in the internet world. We, we love you, Brendan. Just, I'm really teasing you because you, you told me to put on my head. All right, there you go. Coach Prefecture is pretty awesome, and I'm so happy. Nosh, don't encourage, don't enable. Nosh has become, our moderator is an enabler. I'm looking straight at you. There you have it. Um, that's me yesterday. Remember that shirt? I was wearing that. That's two days ago at the Kochi store. And I was wearing my new silk mask. 
Uh, and that's uh, Ryoma. What's Ryoma's last name? Do you remember, Kanai? Sakamoto. Sakamoto Ryoma. That's a tough guy. He's in front of... Uh, he, he brought people together. He's actually a nice guy. And, uh, nice guy? I, I thought he was a nice guy. No, he's a bad guy? Yeah, no, he's a nice guy, but it's like your friend. <laughs> Well, kind of. He can't. He has no choice. He's a statue. He's everybody's friend he's now. <laughs> he's been immortalized. He's also at the coach airport. They've statued him, and he's doing like a Napoleon thing. Look, do you see that? He's got his hand in his jer in his uh, jacket like Napoleon. It's a pretty cool touch. I don't think people recognize that. But that's in front of the Maragoto Coach Store. And I want to say thank you to them for providing us with some of the food. This is awesome. I've been dying for Brenda. Hey. Uh, yuzu jam from Kanayona would be great on that bread. Actually, hey. it really would. I don't, I don't have any yuzu jam. Can you make yuzu jam like a marmalade? Yeah, maybe if we have a... Yeah. Yuzu. Brendan makes up for it for the Dapper Pastry Hat Fund. <laughs> if I ever go to Kochi, I want to see if I can get a full-size custard. It's so big that I can go like this and eat my custard hat. You remember yellow hat from Curious George? I want that size of a of a of a, a boshi pan, mm. like yellow hat. All right, we're gonna try to work on this one here. Uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. Uh, we do love Coach Prefecture, and we are planning to go over there. I want to drive there, not go by train. I think if you have a car, mm. you really get to see stuff. Is and that she's. Bleach? Yeah, drive across the bridge. Uh, I don't, maybe the Akashi Kaikyo Ohashi, which is the world's longest suspension bridge. Maybe not. I think it still is. It opened when I came to Japan in 1997, 1998. It was just new. 1998 it opened when, mm. I, when I first came to Japan. But uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this and for sharing uh, food from Kochi, which is pretty darn awesome. Just tataki, we have another one. We'll be taking that and eating it with, with uh, brews at her dad's place probably. But um, amazing food. If you do get on a coach, check out Hitomi Market. You're going to love it. It's probably the most down-to-earth chill. It's kind of what, if you're a tourist, you're looking for. It's so easy to talk with local people, and you're going to get only local food there. Uh, Hitomi Market is a reason in itself to travel to Coach Prefecture. And we're going to drive down there, and maybe with one of Jared's uh, camper vans. Because it would be pretty cool to go in a camper van, an Aussie-made camper van. They put He took out all the stuff in the, uh, like the seats and he put a bed in the back, all right? And then he put a tent on the roof. Think about how insane this is. Only an Aussie would be this insane. And uh, Jared's company, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll introduce it to you soon. There's a tent on the top of it and there's a bed on the inside of it. And you can open up the back window and that's your hotel. There's power outlets inside of this camper van thing. It's awesome. So I think we're going to take that out and maybe drive around the country with this mama. And uh, she's got a license now. I don't know. Yes. If she'll eventually get a chance to drive it. It's, it's kind of scary when she drives. But uh, I will drive this thing to all over as soon as, uh, as, soon as I can. Thanks so much. Uh, if you do have any questions, leave them below. Uh, there's a haircut coming soon and a big announcement as well. Uh, I'm really proud to, to make this announcement too and very excited about it and it's coming ex very, very soon. But I think I might need the haircut first. Yeah. Thank you, Miguel. Miguel, Miguel really wants me to get this haircut. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. All right, see you, t see you tomorrow or later tonight. I think tonight if we do the haircut. Yep. Are you going to do it, Kana? Are you yeah, doing the haircut? I can do it. Oh my gosh. 